Bonjour, hola, konnichiwa, annyeonghaseyo, ni hao. My name is Cynthia Chandra and I am an internationally trained artist. I have shown my art in Japan, UK, France, and USA. My passion is to encourage artists to grow and thrive in their creative soul. This world needs to see your unique perspective. I want to give you the skills and techniques to connect you with your own creativity and the tools you need to express your beautiful soul. I donate 10% back to Animal Rescues to protect our beautiful world that has inspired my art. Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia Chandra. I'm coming to you from my studio. Sorry, I was putting something away real quick. Um, I hope everybody's doing well tonight. I am very excited. I have a really pretty, um, really, really pretty teddy bear sunflower, which are like super fluffy and really cute um, to paint for you guys today. It is actually um, from a group that I'm in um, for gardeners that are in Pennsylvania, and I'm really excited to paint this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I hope everybody's doing wonderful. I hope that you had a nice weekend. You're staying warm and safe um, from all this horrible, horrible um, winter wonderlands out there. Um, I know today I we finally like were able to go on a walk without, you know, our faces freezing off. <laughs> um, we live in northwestern Pennsylvania, so um, it was nice to actually. Um, go outside today. <laughs> it was kind of rainy actually though, um, but Alex like splashing in the puddles, you know, of course. Um, so my son's name is Alex and he's four, so he very much so enjoyed going out and um, and just like exploring today, which was fun. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this really pretty um, sunflower piece that I'm going to be working on. So this is called a teddy bear sunflower and I, so I have a bit of a problem. I very much so like to garden. Um, I grew up on a, a fairly large, um, fairly large forested area um, with nice garden and um, nice space and now I live in a town area, like a small little town, and I don't really have space for a garden. We don't have a yard. Um, we do have a back porch and a front porch, but they're pretty small. They're probably like uh, seven feet by seven feet square footage, um, so it's not very large. However, <laughs> I fill up every little tiny spot of um, anything <laughs> with as much um, as much flowers and plants and anything that I can fit. So I was looking through a seed magazine because, you know, somebody lovely sent me a seed magazine to, like, tempt me. <laughs> and there are these teddy bear flower sunflowers, um, these pictures of these teddy bear sunflowers. Oh, my goodness. They're so gorgeous. So I just, I had to, I had to. I, I had to get some. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, I'm not really even sure where I'm going to be able to fit sunflowers. At our last, not our last apartment, the apartment before last, we had this really nice area that we could easily fit um, sunflowers in. And they grew really tall. They were like 12 foot ones a couple of years in a row. So it was really neat to see all those sunflowers. Um, but right now <laughs> we have gravel around our house and then sidewalks. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to be putting these sunflowers, but I think they'll be fine. I might dig into the gravel. Don't tell me. Um, <laughs> you know me. Where there is a will, there is a way. Right, guys? So I'm excited for spring. I've been very much so looking forward to it this year. Um, I have been able to play with Alex a lot more because I'm finally, this is my first winter I've been working from home, which has been really nice um, to go out with him and play with him in the snow. Um, but yeah, it's it's been pretty fun. So if you're watching, I would love to say hello to you. Oh, I can plant some at Nona's house. 
Um, yeah, so Nona is Alex's grandma, and she has a lot of space for them, so I might give you some seeds too, but I want them here too. <laughs> I'll find a space, don't you worry. <laughs> I planted gladiolus in like underneath the gravel last year. They turned out really well, actually. I think they, I think it's pretty fertile underneath the gravel because nothing's been planted there um, in a while. So, like, the nutrients are all still in there. So, But these flowers look really neat, so I'm excited. I think that they're going to be fun, fun this year. Let me grab out a little more yellow here. Finally threw most of my little tubes of yellows onto my big my big guns now. So I'm just kind of doing some base coats and then I'll come back in and paint a little bit more detail in this. And then I'll paint this really pretty bee. Let me see, is it a bumblebee? Can't really tell. It might be a bumblebee. For now, just getting um, some of these base colors in so I can really build up this fun teddy bear texture. So they're not like um, the usual sunflowers with the big petals. They're kind of almost like compressed. So they look really fluffy almost. Very neat. I'm excited. I'm sure you guys will see lots of pictures of them if I can get them to grow in our, in our rocky areas. <laughs> um, last year we did plant um, tomatoes. I think I showed you guys a video of them. We got like over 350 <laughs> tomatoes off of one, one plant that was in one pot, which is insane to me. Um, but I think I'm going to try and plant some kohlrabi this year. And, um, I'm going to try to plant acorn squash. Hopefully squash will do better this year if we don't get all of our predator bugs frozen. We'll see, but I hope that I hope that I have a better year for gardening. All right, so now I'm going to add some leaves and some background color. I think I might do my blue sky first. You guys still see it? Yeah. Let me do my blue sky first. It's kind of blue cloudy sky behind it. Oh, look how pretty that looks next to that yellow. That's so beautiful. I'm using like a phthalo blue um, mixed with just a little bit pinch of yellow and um, white. Thalo blue is like my color right now, in case you can't tell behind me. I've been painting so, so many blue things. I just, I really like it. Aw, hey Dawn, thanks for watching. She says she's just popping on real quick to say hello. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I've been, I really have been enjoying Thalo blue right now. Um, I think it might be like, the winter sky that I'm feeding off of, or I'm not really sure. But I've just been, I also have been painting at night, mostly instead of during the day, um, just because of timing and Alex, and um, it's been easier for me to paint at night recently. So um, I think that might be why I'm also painting a lot of blues, because that's what I see out my window right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to add this in here, kind of curb the craziness of my sunflower over here. And I'm really excited about this gardener's group. There's a lot of neat people in there, and um, I just traded seeds for white, have you ever heard of white, um, what white 
sweet peppers, sweet bell peppers. So they're white and then the inside is red. I'm excited. So I'm going to grow those this year. We'll see how that turns out too. Frankie says, I get in what I call a color mood and it seems to show up in all of your paintings, right? And I didn't plan it. It just kind of happens. So yeah, I'm calling it my blue period right now. It's not a sad period. It's just blue. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to add some green leaves here. Look at that. Look how beautiful that yellow looks next to the blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Bring it up a little bit for you to see. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. It just makes that yellow pop. So these are complementary colors, yellow and blue. They're across the color wheel from each other. So they like really um, bring out each other's um, pigments. So I love it. So happy. It's like a little sunshine. Um, so sunflowers are unique in that they um, move during the day to face the sun, which I think is pretty neat. And um, if there isn't a sun, like if it's a cloudy day, they'll actually face each other, which I find to be really, really cool. So they always face towards the sun or towards light. Frankie says she thinks she's ready for spring. She's using lots of greens. Yeah. Yeah, I think, like, I I needed to paint a couple of green pieces. Let's see if I can get my camera to pick up my face. There. Um, so I've been painting a lot of, like, floral pieces and stuff, too, and oceans, <laughs> just because I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for winter to be over with, <laughs> for spring to begin. Pull my picture again. So I'm hoping that um, Elizabeth is able to catch this or catch the replay. Because I'm really thankful for her for taking pictures of these for me. Just such a pretty, beautiful flower. It almost looks like a giant dandelion. I always love dandelions. I, I've never owned a yard, though, so that might be why I don't have that enemy instinct towards them. But dandelions have always are always really useful. I like to make dandelion jellies, and my brother makes really good dandelion wine. Um, and I've used dandelions for salad greens before. Very yummy. Kind of almost like a sour taste. I think they're pretty too. And of course, I love blowing off the dandelion seeds. Especially when I'm teaching, it's so fun. Alex likes doing them too. He gets pretty um, upset whenever they don't blow off for him though. <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. see here. Frankie said, teddy bear sunflowers are super fun to do in pen and ink. I bet they would be. There's such a neat texture in them. Um, yeah, that'd be really neat to do. I just had never seen them before and I saw them in the seed book and I was like, I need these. <laughs>
Add a little bit of detail in there. So I decided that I'm going to go live on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings around 8 now. Um, so continue doing my lives on Tuesdays at 8, but I'm also adding Thursdays now instead of Wednesdays. So I'm going to be asking for some more painting ideas. And then I'm going to do a live sale once a month, I think, instead of once a week like I was doing. See how that goes. I might switch it up, but so we'll see. But um, I would love to start doing um, some different lives for you guys. I'm not really sure what to do other than painting. It's kind of like my thing. Um, so if you guys have any ideas of what fun things you'd like to see me doing. Um, my next course that I'll be teaching coming up is going to be um, a watercolor course, which will be super fun. Um, and I, I'm very excited for it. Um, so I'll start enrolling for that coming up next week. And I'll start doing lives talking all about it. I'll probably go live every night with different watercolor pieces. So if there's something that you wanted to learn how to paint with watercolors, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll probably do different projects with it for you guys before I um, start doing class, watercolor classes the next week. And as always, my, my lives on my page and on my YouTube channel are free, so um, you can catch some tutorials for free before I do the live paid course. Concentrate for just a second, adding these leaf details. Lovely. Oh, I should switch to a smaller brush. Kind of get attached to a brush when I'm doing a painting now, and I tend to use the whole brush the entire time. <sighs> to do those curly cues. Fun textures in here. Mm, I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. So, let me add some dark colors in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a bit. Come back in and add some more later. Need a really nice golden green here for this leaf. It's kind of starting to turn a little bit brown in the photo. So pretty. And I'll come back in with all these veinings. Be very pretty. But yeah, I'd love to, to know what you guys want to see me paint with watercolor or what you'd like to learn how to paint with watercolor. Um, I am going to be doing a live, uh, I believe, next Friday um, for Margarita and Beach Painting with watercolors, which I'm very excited about. Um, so we'll have some margaritas together and we'll paint a beach and all you need is some watercolor paintings and a piece of paper. So I'd love for you guys to join me, but I will be starting watercolor um, lives daily next week. So if you guys wanna grab 
some watercolor paint um, or stock up on some watercolor paper to join me for those. It'd be a great time for you guys to really check it out. All right, I'm gonna leave some of this blue and then I'm gonna fill in more of these leaves later. Looks like there's a really pretty tree in the background. Hmm, this is gonna be so pretty when it's finished. So this is where it is now. I'm gonna let this dry and come back in and add some fun texture and some fun colors and really make this piece pop. So I'll post probably a picture of it tomorrow, I'm guessing. But I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. I guess I'll see you Thursday, not tomorrow. Um, I'll see you Thursday at 8 p.m. again. So have a wonderful night, everyone. Bye.